Good afternoon or almost evening. It is still hmm, Thursday, <laughs> the 6th of June here and very heavily raining. It, so it's not sunny, Port Elliot, South Australia. It's actually been a really wet, rainy, overcast, cold, cold day. As grey as, if not greyer than this top, or my hair for that matter. It's lovely to be here joining you though, even though I missed this morning, I couldn't make it. There was a tech issue and I had to go to the shop very quickly before I headed off to work. So that's what happens in life, isn't it? So we're here though to go through the daily Lenneman cards. Now I'm going to hide this one because I just noticed I'm going out via B.Live to my YouTube channel. So that's the only destination for the B.Live. And on the eCam, I'm going to my Twitter, I'm going to the Solepreneurs app and the three different Facebook destinations, which is the um, MyTimeTV.Live, my Rosboundy page and my Rosboundy profile, which is not switched over to a professional profile yet. It is just the regular vanilla profile. That's me. Anyway. We're here for the card, so I'm going to swap over and do that now. And good day, Keza. You're here even in the evening. Oh, that's wonderful to see you. Thank you so much for joining me. Makes it a lot nicer when there's somebody on the other end that you know is watching who's made comments. It's wonderful. Thank you. Let's go over and connect in with spirit guides and all the rest first. And here we have the cards. And we've got Diane as well. Oh, good afternoon, Diane. Evening. Oops, I forgot to do that. <laughs> Line up the actual camera. That's a bit dark. As you can see, there's not much decent light outside at the moment to bring that outside light in. So it's pretty dark. And here we have, oh, that's not going. Now it is. Here we've got the owl card. You have escaped the cage. Your wings are stretched out. So fly fly now isn't it beautiful remember yesterday we had the flying one where it was um you know don't be afraid just fly be who you are is basically what that's saying is being who you are there we go that's a lot better isn't it and i do have my apple pencil today so let's go here we go and diane are you on two different places um you just came up again <laughs> There you go, or, or did a, wanted me to see it and make sure so I could. Uh, morning, Corinna. It's not actually morning, it's evening here for me. Are you travelling and gone somewhere that it's morning? And Kat, <laughs> good morning, it's evening. I'm in the dark. Oh, you're overseas still? You were travelling, weren't you? That's a beautiful avatar. I just noticed how lovely that looks. Anyway, here we are. I've knocked off for the day, so I um, was able to get here straight away. As soon as I'd gone shopping again tonight, I'd run out of milk, so had to go the long way, went shopping. Five cards, it's still the Sierra Marchetti's Gilded Brevary deck. There we go. You can just see that in the corner. We've got the park in the home space. We've got the lilies as our work. We've got our tree in that unexpected place, and it's the heart that is our role and we have the owls which is birds owls as our outcome that beautiful beautiful flight of these wonderful birds have a look at it reflected there reinforced there <laughs> so <laughs> there we go <laughs> Rina, you just nah just being cheeky <laughs> thank you for that I like that though that's cool yes and Diane you don't know technology and you don't <laughs> <laughs> and you don't mix around with it. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Thank you for being here. Doesn't matter how you show up. I love you all. Right. The park or the garden in our home space really is. Have you spent some time today getting back into nature? Have you been out and about in the public realm? Because it's what it means. It is getting out, outside, mixing and communing with nature and other people it's spending time in what is those beautiful spaces uh, with all the resources that we have it, there we have the water it's soil that's growing these trees it's a beautiful construction and artistry of the gardener 
the person who designed this garden, this beautiful park. We can get out and mix with it and really bring forward our own enjoyment and sharing with others and being in that realm of people seeing you, you seeing people, others. You know, it's really getting into the, the full realm of what is natural. We are meant to be in relationships. So we have a relationship with that that is our environment around us. So it's emphasizing that for what we've had today. And for those who are in the Northern Hemisphere yet to have their 6th of June, July, we're July, aren't we? To have their 6th of July start, they've got this to look forward to. That beautiful realm of nature and summer months that are being experienced in the Northern Hemisphere. Beautiful, isn't it? So it's all those experiences of what is our cycle of life. And we're moving that energy around and about with our home space, our family, our friends and relatives. And really, in some sense, opening up a little to the vulnerability of beauty and being our natural selves. So we're going to move that across our communication channel of the hours and into what is the business or the workspace and our connection with that that's our ancestry, that is our genetics, that is our, you know, what's come before because the lilies really do bring our prior knowledge and what we've had in the past uh, into, you know, the, our experiences, our skill set, our, what we've learnt as we've moved forward from our school days and into our work lives, whether it is that we're working for someone else or building our own business. And that's what this is about. So spend a bit of time reflecting what have you learnt, what you can still bring to the party as far as your work and how you earn your income and how you bring your abundance to the fore in sharing and growing and flourishing this. It's like how beautiful blooms and flowers here and it continues that cycle of what is our natural and growing further in how we're going to be earning our income uh, or bringing in our abundance. The tree certainly encourages that because it's the tree of life. It's bringing all those aspects of what our predestined our Akashic records, our potential with the rainbow and the, and the promises we've made on the other side before we came into this lifetime. All of that is what's going to bring into our network of, um, you know, with others, our trees look like as if we are planting ourselves into our space and growing that these moments will show up when we know that we are fully grounded and being able to stand steady in what we're doing in those moments and having it confirmed. And ah, oh, we've got Kim here as well. G'day Kim, lovely to have you here. Have you finished work? <laughs> I know I'm a little late today. So allow that connection with the trees. Remember tree roots are a network that is global. Because the earth itself goes so deep. It's the central of what the earth is and how it really does send its own messaging system around and about this world that we live in. Beautiful connections that we can have and in the way it is meant to be perfect for each one of us. So again, as we're moving across that that is the hours and that communication, we're going to be seeing this our heart space, being within our heart, knowing when we are being true to ourselves and, and being in essence that unconditional love for ourselves and others. Don't forget that we are in relationship with everyone else that we come in connection with, be it just the shopkeeper or whether it is our most intimate partner that we share our life with, whether it's in formal marriage or in any other type of arrangement it is still relationship it's still getting to love and know each other a lot better a lot deeper including our kids you know all of that that we have that comes from our heart space really experience this in the way that you need to ah yes you might need to watch the replay you missed the start and that's what's the beauty of having our technology as we do uh, it doesn't go away unless somebody else deletes it, e.g. Facebook, YouTube or whatever, because I don't. So live 
in those moments where you know that you can have that um, knowledge, wisdom of who you are and, you know, those times where you can sit quietly and take in what is your lessons learning, experience the environment around you. All of that that's actually coming in, but it's also what you're sending out. That's how I'm seeing this for our day today. You know, what has our day been? It has been allowing in and sending out. It's the both, you know, the two ways of what communication is. It's spending, sending, spending. Is it spending time? It's really just allowing the time to, you know, oh, breathe, to really breathe in, observe with all of our senses what is around us, what is happening to understand it in a fuller way with the wisdom like we understand owls do. Uh, who knows whether they do or not. I'm not an owl, but I can certainly feel that there is knowingness within and understanding and growing that learning as I continue to use all of my senses to observe, to see, to touch, smell, hear, you know, all of the experiences we have as we move about each and every day. And today's no different. So having that experience of life in who you are as your individual self, uh, that loving, unconditional self that's predestined, that's connected to where you are right now because it's what you agreed to in a soul contract. It's all of that that you might understand of what is our message for the day. So there you go. And hi, Joe. Oh, yes, that's not quite the right spelling. He is the right spelling for the short and Ros because it is Roslyn, R-O-S-L-Y-N, for those that know me. But I prefer to be just Ros. It's nice, short and uh, succinct, isn't it? So there we go. That is where we have our... Now I'm just wondering, does that show up on Just The Bee Live? It does. Um, so if you want any further... Um, personalised information, that type of thing, you can certainly... Um, go over to my The Psychic Online to book, uh, pay for and then organise a booking whether you want to be in the recording or not of a video reading and that's the one that's on being I'm trying to find the other one that's here and there is the one that is now I've got to try and hide that one because we can't have two at once look let's get rid of that one from Live. there's the one from Ecamm <laughs> that's the, the beauty of being able to tweak with two different setups isn't it um beautiful to to be able to have this technology i do i do really enjoy it as you know and pressing all those buttons so thank you i'm going to leave it there for now because i'm starting to get hungry and need to prepare my own tea tonight so or dinner my meal that that we eat <laughs> sustain our life all of that sort of thing so certainly tune back in in the morning uh, around about the 8 o'clock because I'm planning on being on time tomorrow morning with all of the technology being uh, behaving itself, I hope, and maybe doing the similar pattern again where I'm using B.Live as well as the Ecamm. It's just so nice to have a bit of a balance. I like to gauge which is doing the right thing and what's new because absolutely every program keeps getting bigger and improving and doing tweakings and stuff. It's, it's really quite fun. Um, and for anyone that wants to join in, you know, would like a hand doing this type of thing, I'm quite happy to help out too. Anyway, do check out my thepsychic.online website and even the rosboundy.com.au website. That's still, I do have it there. I haven't tweaked that for a while, but it's there and I do have booking system there as well. So, and otherwise in the Facebook, you can message me. I think you can. I don't know if you can in YouTube. There are the avenues. Twitter, I do occasionally check out that too. So thank you all of you for being here. It's wonderful to join in again, even though late, and I'll see you in the morning. Keep being the best you that you can be. And namaste. Bye.